2009 marks the 40th anniversary of the Chicano Studies Research Center at UCLA. And over this year, we're going to be celebrating the accomplishments of the center. The center was uh, created in 1969. And uh, one of the main motivations is that the campus, while it was a public university, was largely inaccessible uh, to Mexican-American students. So there was actually a, a, a group that had formed um, one of the major student groups, UMAS, uh, it's a group of Mexican-American students, and they were very pivotal in uh, uh, pushing for the university to create something that would help uh, make the, the institution accessible and supportive uh, of, uh, of Mexican-American or Chicano students. One of the important things about the center is the way in which it has approached uh, projects on multiple levels, so that there's a research component, but there's also the publication or dissemination uh, angle, there's the library and archival component, there's the community, um, academic and community programs dimension to it. Using autobiography is one of it the is established with an academic press that produces uh, what is still the major uh, refereed academic journal for the field. Uh, it is established with a library and an archive that begins creating the special collections and the uh, reference materials, uh, acquiring them uh, in order to provide resources for scholars and for students. Mm -hmm. And they do it in very innovative ways uh, because there's been an absence of this. In addition to the focus that we've brought to um, education, public health, and, and also the social sciences uh, in, in terms of an approach to research on the Chicano and Latino community. We've also had a pretty significant emphasis on arts and uh, archival preservation. And out of that, we developed a Chicano cinema recovery project where we recovered and restored the first feature film directed by a Mexican-American filmmaker. You know, in the time that I've been director, we have faced uh, really a, a kind of astounding challenges. And one of the things that really moves me throughout, uh, that makes uh, uh, continuing this possible, is the commitment that we have on the part of the staff, uh, the faculty, the students, uh, that contribute to what we do. It's, it's really only possible because of the people that say, I will contribute to that, that I will help make that happen. Um, and that I've been very fortunate during the time that I've been director uh, to benefit from that, but also to see it grow and, and see that really be part of how we'll look ahead to the 50th anniversary and say these are some of the places that we think we need to go over the next 10 years.